we're gonna start a new series that what should I invest in series? And today we're gonna talk about the professional real estate tax status. Hello, this is David Zai with the Zai Mortgage Team. You know, a topic that's near and dear to my heart. If you watch my videos, you'll see I love investing in real estate. So I recently had a call with um, a friends of mine that uh, we went to college with. Uh, they're both physicians um, and they're practicing physicians. However, you know, a couple months ago or even a couple years ago, I talked to them about what I was doing with real estate and how I'm able to pass on a legacy and build that multi-generational wealth. And something stuck with him, you know, because he started doing a lot of research and he said to his wife, he's like, hey, we're just making all this money. However, you know, a large portion of our income is going out in taxes and we have nothing to really show for it other than investment accounts. And we all know what the stock market's done recently. A lot of research that really sparked my interest in talking more about this topic because this can provide that legacy to your family that other industries can't really help with. So he went part-time as a doctor, that he could spend time dedicated to this real estate. And the reason he wanted to do that is because he wanted to be able to write off a lot of deductions in real estate uh, whether it's uh, building equity or whether it's cash flow. But having 750 hours of real estate activity that is performed on wholesaling, flipping, rental properties, whatever type of rental or, or real estate investment qualifies you for a significant tax break if you do your taxes correctly. Once you qualify with the 750 hours, you have to track your hours and everything that you do that's real estate related. This is not real estate, so you're not getting a real estate license and having to hold open houses and run buyers and sellers around. However, you can do that, but um, we'll, we'll go into more of that in, in our next series. However, as a real estate tax uh, professional or professional real estate status, you'll also be able to do cost segregation when you buy properties, and that is accelerating your deductions. That will then allow you to write off a portion of that expenses in your first uh, couple years. The beauty of all of this is, you know, typically when we're writing, um, you know, our properties off uh, year after year without cost segregation, what happens is you're dragging out that tax deduction over a long period of time. However, once you've written off everything, you can then do a 1041 exchange, and that is a like kind exchange. Um, and that allows you to basically reinvest in something that's similar to what you just sold. Uh, take those profits and defer your taxes for later on. However, that gives you the ability to cost segregate once again. You'd want to consult a company that has a attorney, accountants, and, and they know how to do this. I can uh, share a link below in the video of who I personally use for these. Um, however, what they will do is they will evaluate your entire um, you know, tax portfolio as well as your real estate portfolio and they'll let you know how to protect your assets as well. So if you're an investor like me, you know, they may talk about having a corporation in certain states. And then at that point, you know, you have leases set up and then you have different LLCs just to protect yourself. This is a great way to help build equity. I've talked about in previous videos, you know, there's long term rents and there's short term rents. That's really good because long term rents are at like all time highs because there is a housing shortage. Um, and then with the material cost and you know the cost of transporting the material, um, those have gone up significantly too. Recently, I had a, a friend of mine who sold his house and decided to move to a flyover state. And when he did that, he was actually uh, able to uh, take all that equity that he had in his house and invest it into uh, his current house as well as take the extra money and pay off some debts and then invest in a, a separate property which you know he's going to have significant cash flow on because uh, when he looked in in that state and in that county where he wanted to live the cost of rents uh, were between 17 to 2500 where his mortgage payment on a two hundred thousand dollar house with the significant down payment that he had was right at a thousand dollars that really helped him out a lot allowed him to have that additional investment which is going to yield uh, fifteen hundred dollars in rent every month on a thousand dollar mortgage so he's five hundred dollar positive cash flow every month i've also talked to him about um, uh, taking part of that uh, money that he receives every month and putting it in as a reserve because you know if you're a homeowner now or if you want to be a homeowner one of the things that you want to know is that you know there are going to be expenses that come up um, there could be septic issues there could be plumbing issues there could be electrical issues 
And there's ways around that too. You can always have like a home warranty. That's a really good thing that covers a lot of your major systems. You can also have a homeowner's insurance policy, which has a, a mechanical breakdown coverage on there. The long and the short of this is, is that, you know, you could build your money in a lot of different ways and you can invest it in a lot of different ways. However, one way that's tried and true, and I grew up in a family full of uh, landlords and investors, is this strategy right here of owning real estate. If you wanna learn more about this, you wanna learn how to leave a legacy to your family and build this multi-generational wealth, feel free to reach out to me, and my name is David Zai with the Zai Mortgage Team. I can be reached at 757-478-8493. Be sure to hit the notification bell for new videos that come up, like the channel, and uh, give us a thumbs up because I love talking to you guys about this and, and I love the interaction that comes along with it. Until next time, I will talk to you later. Bye.